and it begins. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Showstopper Man, and I'm back to bring you another video. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, oh man, we got a we got a crybaby out here, man. In these gaming streets, he's loosed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's out here crying, and his name is Hard Eight. <laughs> How can you have a name Hard Eight? But be so dang on soft. I just don't get that. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't nothing hard about this dude. He ain't your regular softness. He ain't, he ain't marshmallow soft. You know what I'm saying? None of that stuff. You know, he's he's a, a new level of softness. That nigga cloud soft. <laughs> you can go right through that nigga, can't you? Man, he just weak. But anywho, because he cannot take words. You know, he, he can dish it, but he can't take it. That's that's what I get from him. You know, he can he can issue it out. Oh, you know, he cool as long as nothing coming back his way. But soon as something come back his way, oh man, the waterworks happen, don't it? Man, that whole video, he's crying. Uh, he don't hear, he told me on that podcast that he would not do a video. I didn't you right. I, I told you on this on that podcast when me and you had our first encounter, I wouldn't do this. But I also said on the podcast, if I'm in the podcast. And I find it funny, I would say that trash. And even if it's about you, I would say that trash. Y'all go study the game tapes. That's all I ask. Study the game tapes. Huh? That's the reason why this dude did not put that conversation in his video. Anytime Hardy is going to expose somebody, this is a character. This is this is this is how I know he's trying to get over on y'all. Anytime he's trying to expose y'all, he will put the bean footage. He was. He would give you the game tapes. He would allow you to listen. If he came out on top like he said he did, he would allow you to listen, and then get, draw your dang on uh, conclusion from there. But what he do? He left it out purposely, and he got lazy. He said, "Y'all just go go look at it. It's podcast. It's podcast eleven. <laughs> and he left it out. You know what I'm saying? Because he know I cut him off. Facts in mid cry when you're sitting here. I said, I said, I don't, I don't know this. I don't want to hear all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm here talking to you right now. I don't know what that emotional little breakdown that you're having, but I ain't got time for that trash. You know what I'm saying? I told him that to his face, then turned around and told him also to his face that if I find it funny, I'm going to say that trash. I said, now if it's in the podcast, what I said I wouldn't do is this right here. So, yeah, for me doing this. I'm exposed. <laughs> I exposed myself. <laughs> but I had to do this. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully y'all understand. But uh, anywho, um, then he totally forgot. The reason why we mentioned, it ain't have nothing to do with me fitting in or anything like that. The reason why we mentioned him um, in, that, uh, in, in our podcast was because he did a video that was supposed to have been about Blackie Lebowski. This video is supposed to have been about Blackie Lebowski. And oh my God, that video was some trash. You know what I'm saying? It was supposed to be in a roast too. You know, so he can't stay on topic. I, I, I learned that about Hardy. You know, anytime he mentioned anything, he, he mentioned like a whole bunch of people in one video to kind of give that video that umph. You know, even in this last video, it's supposed to have been about me. It became about Zaire crap, you know, Zaire's daughter. You know what I'm saying? All kind of other little stuff. Just to give that video that umph because. I don't think he's skilled enough to really just come at somebody. You know what I'm saying? I just don't. I just don't believe it. But anywho, um, so we we move forward. You know, he was doing a video about Blackie Lebowski. It's supposed to have been about Blackie Lebowski. It's supposed to have been a roast. And then in mid roast, this nigga said, "Uh, before I get into that, uh, let me give you a backdrop." <laughs> And, and then Mid Rose, he want to give a backdrop. I was like, oh, God, dang. He giving us a history lesson. Five minutes of a history lesson of who Lebowski was. You know what I'm saying? And that man, that was God awful. So he knew he was bombing. So to give that that oomph, he mentioned me. 
he mentioned Fat Gamer, and he mentioned Zaya. And this is why. You know what I'm saying? If you notice, when and you go look into the podcast, Zaya said, when we go to E3, we're supposed to get our butt whooped because this is what came out of his mouth. And then that's when we start clowning him. And, you know, I think what, what got him mad was, I, 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 I never had a problem with you, showstopper. Showstopper buddy. I, I, listen, only problem I ever had out of you. <laughs> you know how he talk. You know what I'm saying? That's what he was mad about. I was clowning him like that. You know what I'm saying? And but that was just me clowning him. You know, I was just doing doing what I do. You know what I'm saying? Even though I, he he said what he said, that was just me clowning. I knew he was going to do this. Do a video because that's how soft and weak that nigga is. You know what I'm saying? So, but anywho, that video was supposed to been about Blackie Lebowski. He threw us in it. So we we took a little jab back and look what happened sensitivity at its finest but all right hey hey how are they you exposed <laughs> you exposed for being for 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 being sensitive and you exposed for being a fraud for leaving out the the, the dang on footage man knowing what i said to you is what i said to you but let me get to chopping this fable you know in his head in 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 his Head of heads, how he, he think of himself, he, he look at himself as a YouTube bully. He's he's this bully. He's he got everybody scared of him. <laughs> but let me let me let me let me chop him down a little bit because last time I checked, ain't no nigga scared of a nigga that learned how to fight from a women's self defense class. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know who you are in these gaming streets, my nigga. You are the Bobby Hill of these dang on YouTube game streets. <laughs> he got niggas out here making videos like this. <laughs> what you gonna do, Hardy, huh? You gonna grab me in the nabs? <laughs> hey, man, I wish him and Zaire would have gotten into that dang old boxing match, boy. Man, it looked exactly like that scene on King of the Hill, wouldn't it? You know what I'm saying? When Hank was trying to teach Bobby how to fight like a man, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, it, it was in the, in a, in a, in a, in a in a garage, and, and Zaire would have been hitting me with that jab, like, pop, pop. Come on, get your hands up. Pop, pop. You know what was going to happen to Hard 8? Them daggone instincts was going to kick in again, wasn't it? <laughs> get your hand off my purse. <laughs> I don't know you. You know what I'm saying? And then next thing you know, he was going to grab a fistful, like, ah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's how we got you pegged in these dang on gaming streets, man. You are Bobby Hill, a.k.a. get your hand off my purse, nigga. That's who you are. Ain't nobody scared of a person like that. No way. You know what I'm saying? All you, what's your, your signature move is grabbing me. Ain't nobody scared of that. Man, stop that trash. <laughs> but anywho, um, this is why we don't rock out with you. You know, um, you consistently make this mistake, um, and this is this is why I think a lot of people just kind of like this. And anybody that support this trash, I don't want y'all to come to my channel. I don't want you know supporters that support this. If you're a supporter that support this, please unsub because I don't I don't I don't uh, associate myself with trash. And this is what he is. He's trash. You know what I'm saying? He brought. An innocent girl, even in the video that's supposed to have been about me, he brought an innocent girl that have nothing to do with this YouTube drama beef. Don't know nothing about none of this stuff. And you brought an innocent child into some YouTube drama. As a father, as me, as a dad, oh, dude, if that was my child, yeah, we'd have been, we'd have been having to make some flight arrangements or something because that's some trash. That you can sit here and this is why I call you a safe house gangster because you fire up this camera and only thing that's missing with what what with your what's what's coming out your mouth is that dang on pressure right in front of you. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of dudes turn into females when that pressure's right there. You know, they, they won't say the things that they have all the confidence to say when that pressure is not in their dang on face. You know what I'm saying? You ain't man enough to say that to that man's face. But you will fire up, you will come this, this dang on internet thug, you sit at home and you safe. You know, you looking around before you do your video, ain't no pressure in front of you. So you feel confident to sit here and bring an innocent child into some dang on YouTube internet beef. One thing I can say about Zaire, you know what I'm saying? If he sit here and he talk about you, 
He's talking about you. He's not bringing your, your, your wife, your kids, none of that trash into that. I have never heard him say any of that. You know what I'm saying? If, I am, if he did, I'm sadly mistaken. I didn't hear it personally. You know what I'm saying? I have not heard him say anything about any of your kids or any of that to you personally. You know what I'm saying? Or anybody else's kids uh, personally. I don't think he brought any family member into anything besides, you know, I don't know. But um, he at least stayed on you. You know what I'm saying? And But the, the, the weakness, you know what I'm saying, the, the weak nigga that you is, you couldn't out cap him or out battle him man to man you know this is like the wild wild west you take it 12 paces turn around fire and shoot there's no 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 women no nothing in in that that's man to man right there you know and anybody that rock out and allow that to go on and you a parent and you allowing that to rock on you know what i'm saying shame on you if y'all still supporting this dude this dude i'm telling you this is the biggest fraud exposed hands down that can ever be and he has the audacity to fix his mouth to talk about anybody else on youtube when you out here doing slimy grimy stuff like that that's a weak dude that's a baby you know what i'm saying that's a coward and that's real talk from your boy show how i see it that that baby ain't got nothing to do with this why are you bringing a baby into something you know what I'm saying? Stay on that nigga. You know what I'm saying? You, but you know what? You was running out of stuff. So you had, to, you had to go deeper into your bag and you brought in an innocent baby. And that to me tells me a lot about you. You know what I'm saying? You weak. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I mean the softest of soft. When I sit here and say you cloud soft. You cloud soft, man. And like I said, any subscriber that sit here and supported that trash, and I know who you are, so I don't even want you in my dang on comment section. I'm going to expose you right there. I'm going to say, I, I saw you over there in Heart 8 writing and posting. Stay your butt over there. Because shame on y'all too. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all are grown. I can understand kids not, you know, not really knowing and, and understanding what's going on here. But if you're a parent, you got kids, you know what I'm saying? And you hearing a person talk about somebody else's child like that, you should be offended us as well. And that's all I'm going to say, man. That's, that's, what we, that's why we don't rock out with him. That's why he don't get the respect. That's why we come at him the way we come at him because that's some soft stuff. And like I said, if, if, we, if we do go to E3 and we see you dang skippy, you know what I'm saying? Pause, we'll get put on. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not the person I'm going to sit here and talk about what, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to do or somebody else going to do. I, I try to tell Zaire, just don't even tell him what you're going to do. Just when you see that nigga, you know what it is. It's on site. You don't have to sit here and, and make yourself all tough and be out here and talk about what you're going to do. That's just for the, for the viewers. Screw that trash. You know what it is when you see that nigga. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and like you said, it's on site. You know what I'm saying? And um, but uh that's why we don't rock out winning, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And anybody that support that, please don't hit the sub button to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool with, with my subscribers. I don't really do YouTube for for the um to be popular. I do this just because it's fun for me. You know what I'm saying? Um and if you don't like what I do, stay your butt over there. You know what I'm saying? And that's just bottom line. And that's all I got, man. This is your boy. Showstopper, and I'm out. Peace. <laughs>